I think for me, the thing that I most look forward to when I'm thinking about coming into archaeology is the lectures and the camaraderie that we have in the lectures. Like, the lectures are good and they're all really interesting and I love everything we're learning, but without having all of the group of people, it just wouldn't be the same. Like, it's just the in jokes and the just kind of chatting beforehand and afterwards and discussing the lectures and then like, going back and discussing the lectures from a month ago and going, do you remember that? At the beginning, at the middle of March, uh, we're all going to go, well, a few of us are going to go to Rome, which I've never been to before and I'm really, really excited because it's just going to be so cool. I've never really been abroad. Um, it's just like visiting all the stuff that we've like heard about in lectures and that you've read about outside of lectures is just going to be so much fun and so interesting, especially going to Rome with a load of nerds who really like Rome. I'm really looking forward to going on an excavation. I've only done one so far in my entire life. And I, I really do enjoy the hands-on digging of archaeology and hoping to uncover new bits of history, as much as cliche as that sounds. Uh, I'm really looking forward to doing that. The excavation I did was in Canic Chase, which was my local, my local kind of um, forest, which there was a prison of war camp there in the First World War. And it wasn't a proper excavation per se, but they got all the prisoners of war to dig an exact replica of all the German trenches that were in the sector of the front, so they could plan a attack into it. And so it was all these little supply trenches, you had the artillery positions at the back, and it was all a concrete surface, but it was digging down into the, um, with trowels and all that. I think I was maybe 13, 14, so probably not the most representative of archaeological experiences, but I'd hope to do that better in the future. Um, I'm really looking forward to the cleaning of pottery. I've done it. There's with the Archaeological Society here in York. Unfortunately, I'm not wearing my jumper at the moment. I would be if I'd thought about it this morning, but the, um, they do really nice sessions on Wednesdays of um, bones and pottery cleaning, which is really quite fun, especially with a hands-on hands-on elements of archaeology which I thought I'd have to do in a, um, in a lab, especially at a, at a mandated time, but it's, a, it's quite a nice chill session to come in and just inform history, I guess. I really like working in King's Manor. King's Manor is um, a, a good place to work. It, it's a really nice building, a really nice courtyard. It's uh, originally the abbot's uh, house um, for the uh, abbey over there. Uh, and then um, it, with the dissolution of the monasteries, the crown got it, uh, and then they used it as a house for some time. Um, I know a lot of them didn't really like it because there was a cesspit not, not far away, so they didn't spend much time here, but they, it was owned by the crown. Uh, I think it was used for some administrative stuff, I can't remember what. And then it was used as a school of the blind for several years before ta being taken over by the university. Um, I often sit on the ground floor of the library, which is uh, somewhat hidden, so it's a nice, quiet place to work.